like I said, there's no place in SPRO where you can go create your own pricing type. So to understand, you know, how to customize pricing type, you have to understand what are the parameters behind a pricing type. So the program to configure pricing type is RV 61 AFZA. So you can go to SC38 RV61 AFZA and there's a form over there like a user exit. User exit pricing rule. Over there, you can go create a new pricing type. For example, look at the comments over there. If you want to create a new pricing type of X, this is the code that you have to do. Just remove these comments and you have yourself a new pricing type X. And what does it do? How is it configured? This is KN type. The, the, the field KN type is condition category. And this basically comes from the pricing condition type. Definition. The definition of the pricing condition type. So that is one parameter. So if you say, you know, XYZ, that means that for all the condition types with these condition categories, do a reprice. That's what that condition type X would indicate when you set it with K and type of XYZ. For example, if X or a Z, let's say, Z here were to indicate the fact that, you know, all freight condition types have a condition category of Z. When you use X for your pricing condition type, then all freight based condition types will be redetermined. So, freight is only one condition category here. Y could be another category. X could be another category. We'll see some examples in a bit. The point being, against this KNPRS pricing type or rule, so this is the pricing rule. Against this pricing rule, any condition category that you mention in the KN type, these are single characters, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, 1, 2, 3. Any condition category that you mention here, will be used as the basis for redetermination. And anything that you exclude there will not be touched at all. So that is with respect to condition category. Right? So this is condition class. Right? You can see that here. Condition class. And this, if you put an X over here, it means that all manually entered condition types need to be redetermined. If you don't put an X, then it will not bother about whether it's manual or automatic. Right? And then append stew. Append stew is just a technical statement that takes all of this data and appends it to or just adds it to the stew, S T E U, structure. So this is a structure which is only available at runtime. It's not available, you know, in a table. And that's the reason why you can't configure it in SPRO. So in SPRO, everything that you configure is basically a table or a view. Right? But this STEU is not a table, unfortunately. So all the configuration has to be done as a code, piece of code, in this program. So this is the name of the program. And this is the name of the user exit. And your ABAP consultant has to do this for you. Not possible in SPRO. Has to be done by an ABAP consultant. So let's see some examples. So if you go create an order, and then in this program, right, RV61 AFZA, if you put a breakpoint in that user exit pricing rule form, whatever that piece of code is, you'll actually see the runtime definitions of all the pricing types. So these are the pricing types. Meaning for pricing type A, what it means is redetermine everything with a condition class of F. And it doesn't bother whether you know there's a manual flag or not. Redetermine everything that has a condition class of F. And redetermine everything here. I think this is the condition category, right? Condition category. If you look at B, 
B means redetermine everything. So these are all the condition classes. Don't worry about the condition category because it's all blank. But redetermine everything with these condition classes A, B, C, D, so on. Right? And not worry about the manual flag. So I know it's a bit confusing condition category, condition class, but that's SAP's way of segregating certain condition types so that only freight can be redetermined, only tax can be redetermined, only manual conditions can be redetermined. So these are all different flags associated with the pricing type in the structure STEU that you are free to customize, meaning you don't want to change the standard pricing types. So let me put that note here. Do not change standard condition types or rather pricing types. So what do you want to do if you want to create your own? There is a specific range, right? Just like you create requirement routines in the range 600 to 900, right? So if you want to create your own, use 1 through 9, right? These are the reserved range for pricing type. Now, KOAID, that is condition class, and KNTIP is condition category. Now, I'm not too too conversant with uh, you know condition class versus condition category. Basically, they determine if it is a price or a discount or a tax or a surcharge, so on and so forth. So these things say, okay, what kind of a discount is it, right? Or what kind of a price is it? For example, this is a price like a freight price, right? And this calculation type is what controls whether it is quantity or percentage. Sometimes it's hours based, so on and so forth. So most of the time, the pricing type is based on condition class and condition category. When you want to do a change, you might want to consider everything that's provided by SAP, A through Z. And if it does not fit, pick your nearest neighbor and then customize it. Just add that particular condition class. Now it's very rare that you create your own pricing type. But if you want to do it, you just have to pick up the closest pricing type and then just add or remove the corresponding condition classes or condition categories or manual flags or scales. Any of this stuff, just, just remove or add one character and that's all you have to do. Actually, you just have to write it down on paper and your ABAP consultant is going to do it for you. You don't even have to do it in SPR, right? You can't even do it. And like I said, go put a breakpoint here in this program, in this user exit, and all the parameters here like condition class, condition category, manually entered. These are the three, four main things. Condition category, condition class, manually entered or not, scale type. These are the key, four key things based on which, you know, you can do your repricing. So if you want to actually see it in action, you can go to SE38. So RV61AFZA, right? Just go to display, and this is your user exit pricing view. So put a breakpoint there, right? And then go try to create another order VA01 or 101000, same customer, same material. We just want to see when this is triggered and you know what is the values that SKU contains when it is being triggered. Okay, you can see that the ABAP debugger is starting. And over here, let's say STEU. Okay, that's the structure. Okay, click on that. And there you go. Pricing type A is basically redetermining nothing right because it's not based on any of these except the scales right that's what a says b is redetermine everything based on this condition class i don't even remember if it is condition this one is condition type condition class or this one is condition category i think so this is condition category and this is condition class 
So let's see what A, B, C, D, E, G, Q, W, H look like. So all you have to do is V slash 06, which takes you to the definition of the condition type. And let's pick up, let's say, PR00, right? That's our standard. And what are the condition categories that we have here? Okay, B is delivery cost. But let's just check out if K and T by P is what we think it is. So let's go to help, condition category. Is this K and T by P? Yeah. So K and T by P is condition category. And let's see what are the values here. B is delivery costs. So when it says A and B here, that means the delivery cost for B, pricing type B, should be redetermined. Right? Same thing with A, condition category packaging. That should be redetermined too. What about C? Insurance. D, taxes. So taxes should be redetermined as well. Right? So A, B, C, D. Uh, let's look at something like Q. What is Q? Q is costing. So costing should be redetermined, meaning VPRS. Let's look at H. What is H? Basic price. Right? Probably there is an F as well. No, there's no F. A, B, C, D, E, G, Q. So, fright will not be read, but everything else, all the different condition categories that you see here will be read in mind. So, let's, let's just um, execute this. F8. Right? Double click that. Go to conditions. Click on update. And B, right? We were talking about B. So B basically carries out new pricing, which means it will redetermine all the condition categories that we have seen there. A, B, C, D, uh, G, H, all the different condition categories that we have seen there. Now if you look at C, we can look at the PowerPoint. C, C, C is almost a copy of B, right? So this is a copy of B. Everything else is there, except for the fact that this is set to X. What it means is, Redetermine all these condition categories except for manually, or rather, let me put it this way copy all manual pricing conditions as is, or manual changes as is. Rest of them can be redetermined, right? So, this is basically a matrix of condition category class condition class right manual flag and of course key so these key four parameters can be played with any which way you want to arrive at a single character starting from one to nine that's your custom range that's how you create your own pricing type that will be used to update pricing at the line item level the way you like it so let's recap what we have learned in the next chapter.